That's, oh, that's a beauty. Fish on, baby. That's a fish on. Oh, 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 the turtle, the turtle. Put my chainsaw in there, just in case. Put my waders in there, because that water is cold. Most important part, baby. <laughs> the float tube. Oh yeah. Should have forgot the fishing rods. <laughs> I got that. Just, how do you forget your fishing rods? Like, oh my goodness! Oh. I just ran over a squirrel, guys. Totally unintentional. What are you doing? Hey, eh? get off the road. You get off the road, you. Hey? What do you think? You're so cool you can block traffic, huh? Huh? All right. There's your friends. How are you guys doing? How you doing? Nice day, huh? Guys, as I was saying, I totally did not mean to run that little squirrel over. You know how those little buggers are, man. Sometimes they just do the death run straight out in front of you. And uh, unfortunately, yeah, there's no chance. I feel bad. However, on a good note, nothing goes to waste when you're out in the woods. So it makes me feel a little bit better. I just hate, I hate doing that, man. I love you know, little squirrels and chipmunks and stuff like that. They have a purpose in this uh, environment, so I feel bad. I really do feel bad. Anyways, let's go fishing, baby. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. It really goes a long way with helping this channel out. And if you don't hit that subscribe button, I'm gonna come to your house and strike you with a fishing pole or something like that. So hit that subscribe button now. <laughs> It's free. No, I'm just kidding. I will not go to your house and hunt you down and strike you with a cane, but please hit that subscribe button, guys, if you enjoy this content. So much more coming down in the future. And uh, yeah, let's go out and have a fun day of fishing, baby. Fish on. You guys see that right there? Like right there, there's like a little, there's a beaver or a muskrat or something. Or maybe it's a duck, I can't tell. Can you guys tell what that is? I'm not sure, you just went underwater. Anyways, either way, <laughs> pretty cool. Okay guys, so we're just coming into the lake right now. Oh man, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Nice little breeze. Man, what a little slice of heaven that is. fire pit. Oh, look at that, somebody even left us a little bit of wood. There actually is quite a bit of a breeze. Look at that. Little damsel flies are just starting to hatch off. <laughs> look at that guy, somebody left their line. Somebody must have hooked the tree. I don't know if you guys can see that, there's a little bit of line blown in the wind up there. Some evidence of past fishermen. Waders on. Oh yeah, baby. There it is. The fishing machine.
Okay guys, so before we do anything, I just want to take a quick look um, around the shores here and see what kind of bugs are hatching, see if we can see any kind of aquatic insects, anything like that. Any possibilities of what maybe um, these fish could be feeding on. So let's just take a quick little look here and see, um, maybe give us a quick little tip on what we should use to begin the day. So right away, there's some freshwater shrimp cruising around. Kind of a grayish sort of a color. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of them, look at that. How cool is that? There's one right there into the shore, guys. So that right there is a freshwater shrimp. See that? You see the way that thing's moving around? Um, that's kind of what you want to try and mimic when it comes to presentation, stuff like that. Look at them just a cruising. It's a whole little school of them. <laughs> Let's see if I can catch one of these little guys here just to show you. There we go. There's one. There he is. What these things look like. I think they call them scuds. And uh, they're actually quite amazing. They're a freshwater shrimp. A lot of the lakes that have these little guys, apparently, they have a chemical in them called carotene. And that carotene chemical actually is what makes the meat in the, the trout red. So you get a trout with a lot of red meat on it and uh, you can almost be sure that there is freshwater shrimp in that water body. So cool little tip there. If anybody else has any info they want to add to that, please feel free. I'm no, absolutely by any means, no expert. So put that little guy back, there you go. <laughs> also guys, there's tadpoles. Little tiny black tadpoles. I don't know if you guys can see them. Float tube's getting away from me here. All right. Let's just take a look. Going through these weeds here. And I'm not seeing too many dragonflies, although when I look up on the tips of some of these weeds, there's actually some shocks of evidence of damselflies. You guys see that? There we go. So those are little damselflies. Those are like little baby dragonflies, essentially. And when they're at that stage right there, the trout absolutely gorge on them, so that is another possibility for bait. We're just going to make our way out onto the main lake. Okay guys, so I had one bite so far and I uh, had one fish owl, and, uh, but he was off just as fast as he came on. I'm going to go and uh, put a little scud fly on. That's the original, one of the original bugs that I saw swimming around, or shrimp, I guess you can call it, in the water. And uh, fish are being a little bit stubborn right now, so I think I'm going to resort to a little scud here. It only makes sense to at least give this a try. Because if I don't try it, then I'll be wondering. And maybe, just maybe it becomes the magic fly of the day. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to troll this little scud fly. I'm going to go in, go in nice and close to these weeds here, right into the shallows. And uh, that's generally where a lot of these scuds are swimming around, and that's, that's exactly where these fish are coming in to feed on them. So I'm going to do a big swipe right into the shallows, right into the weeds, and uh, see if I can brush my scud through there and pick something up here, hopefully. Fish. Off. Oh, I just had one. Just had a fish on. That little brush pass with the scud in the shallow waters seemed to really do the trick there, so. 
We'll keep trolling along here, see if we can't get another fish. Damn, that was so close. <laughs> Just about pulled the rod right out of my hands. Fish on, baby. <laughs> oh yeah. Panther Martin. Fish, baby. Let's go underneath my boat. Oh, what a beauty. Okay, guys, what a nice little fish. I'm gonna take this fish and uh, he's gonna be the catch and cooker volunteer. What an absolute beaut specimen that is. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> that is a fat little fish right there. That thing has some serious shoulders on him. Okay guys, so one fish to the boat, baby. Had a bunch of bites, fishing's really starting to pick up now. We're just gonna head back over here to where we've been getting most of our action and see if we can't uh, find ourselves another fish. I know these fish have been feeding heavily on the uh, little tadpoles that are in the lake here, so that fish that I just caught actually had uh, quite a few tadpoles inside of its belly. So. A little bit of weed. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on. Out there. I know you're out there. Reel that puppy back in, pause it, reel it, give it a couple jerks. Just anything to grab the attention of those fish that are feeding. It's a fish on, baby. Fish on. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a big fish. That's a good fish. Fish number three, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, scrapper on the Panther Martin. Just killing this Panther Martin right now. It's been quiet most of the day, but holy smokes. Are they ever going for it now? Fish number three, baby. Oh, that's a nice fish. That is a fat fish. Oh my goodness. Oh, hooked my waders. You hooked my waders. <laughs> See what we can do about this. Oh my goodness. Hey. Catch and cook, baby. Oh yeah. How fat that fish is. I think it's crazy fat. Holy smokes. What a hog. But 
him out of his misery. This is the fastest way to do it, guys. Instant death. Break his neck off. Just like that. Done. Goodness, fish on, baby. Fish on. Fish number four. Oh, I just lost him. No. <laughs> I just lost him. Right at the belly boat. That's like three fish in the last five minutes. This is crazy. Let's keep going. Okay guys, so all I'm doing is I'm casting in along those weeds all along the shore there. Letting it sink down for about three seconds and then just reeling it back. For whatever reason, the fish are stacked up in there. I've been fishing way down there all day. The boat launch is actually right there, and the fish are stacked up. Go figure. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna keep fishing here and uh, fish on, baby. They're biting hard right now. I've got six six fish in the last ten minutes. This is insane. This is insane. Oh, getting a bite. Fish on, baby. That's a fish on. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh. Oh, pull and drag. That's a, oh, that's a beauty. <laughs> that is a pig. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this is a monster. This is a tank. Wow. On the Panther Martin, shallow water. Oh my goodness, this is a monster. Look how fat that thing is. Oh my God. Goodness. Wow. That is gonna taste. We're gonna keep him. We are gonna keep him. Look at that thing. That is an absolute chunker of a rainbow trail right there. Alright. My goodness guys. That thing is a tank. I mean, that fish is probably no more than 14 inches long, but I bet you that thing weighs a pound and a half. Like, it's got shoulders on it, that sucker. Oh my goodness. Is that a duck sitting on? Is that a duck on the net? Oh, check that out. That's not cool. I don't know what is. There's a mama duck on there sitting on her nest. Oh. That's, you know what, that... That right there is what makes coming out and doing this special. It's not the fish, it's not the catching. It's seeing cool little guys like this. Okay, so I was gonna do a catch and cook. However, it's just way too windy out right now. It's way too unsafe. I don't wanna risk uh, you know, sparking up a fire, an unwanted forest fire, so. Um, but anyway, we got some good footage today and uh, like look at the size of these. They're not huge in length, but I'm telling you, the girth on these fish is just insane. Like they're like footballs, these fish. There's so many shrimp in the water. Like look at that meat on that thing, it's just beautiful meat. So next video, I'm gonna do catch and cook. And uh, to make up for this one, I really wanted to do it, but it's just, I'm not going to risk it. It's not worth it. So, um, till the next one, guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like, bell icon, all that, so you guys never miss any new videos. Tons of cool stuff coming up, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.
Oh yeah, one more thing. Oh, 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 oh it's a turtle. 